Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of Singapore Mathematical Olympiad SMO 2013, where we are going to solve two best problems from algebra. So let's get started with the first one, which is a square root 45 minus a square root 2000 plus a square root of 45 plus a square root 2000. We will solve this by algebraic identities. So let me consider. The first one is square root as a and then we will consider the second one is square root as b. Okay. Now let us write the value of a and b. Overall we have to find out a plus b. And one more thing, if you will see square root of this much, so obviously a must be positive and b must be positive. Both numbers must be positive for real solution. So let me write the value of a first is square root of 45 minus square root of 2000. B is square root of 45 plus square root of 2000. Now I am going to consider squaring. So a square will be equal to 45 minus square root 2000. And b square we can write as 45 plus square root of the complete bracket will be over. Now if I will add both then I will be having a square plus b square is equal to 90. Now clue is straight away clear that is a square plus b square is equal to 90 done. What is missing? That is product of A and B. So first we will find out product also A times B. So if you will see A is square root of 45 minus square root 2000 and B is a square root 45 plus square root 2000. Then I can put like this where I will write 45 minus square root 2000 in one bracket. And in other bracket, we can write 45 plus a square root 2000. Okay. Now you can see the difference of a square a plus b, a minus b is written. So shall we write a square minus b square? So it will give us 45 square minus a square root of that much. So let me write 2000 directly. a square minus b square. As we all know, 45 square is 2025 minus 2000. It will become square root of 25, so 5. Plus minus 5, that minus we won't consider because we are talking about real solution number 1. Number 2, this value will come out automatically positive. So square root of positive number is positive. Now, AB is 5. Task is done. AB is 5. A square B square is 90. We have to find out A plus B. Okay. I am going to write A plus B whole square identity. If you will write it, then A square plus B square plus twice AB. Now everything is known. A square plus B square 90 I will write twice AB is 5. So this is 90 plus 10, 100. So A plus B, because of A is positive, B is positive, A plus B will come out 10. By taking the square root both sides, we will have 100 is 10 is square. So you can write A plus B equal to 10. So we will write our answer as 10. Now problem number 2 which is very very special problem and very very interesting. Find unit digit of the sum. To understand this question better, you have to target the ones place number 3, 3, 3, 3 and then power is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Let's try to understand the analogy behind it. So I will write what is 3 power 1? 3. 3 power 2? 9. 3 power 3? 27. Now I will make one more column here for unit digit. Let me write UD. This is UD. 
यूनिट डिजिट थ्री नाइन सेवन नो प्रॉब्लम थ्री पार फोर वी नो दैट इट इज एट्टी वन सो यूनिट डिजिट इज वन थ्री पार फाइव चेक द ऑब्जर्वेशन वेयर थ्री नाइन सेवन वन इट इज नॉट रिपीटिंग एनी वेयर नाउ थ्री पार फाइव इज टू फोर्टी थ्री थ्री नाउ थ्री इज कमिंग अगेन थ्री पार सिक्स यू विल मल्टीप्लाई टू फोर्टी थ्री विथ थ्री यू विल बी हैविंग सेवन ट्वेंटी नाइन सो नाइन सी रिपीटेशन इज देयर अप टू दिस पॉइंट इट इज लाइक दैट देन अगेन इट इज रिपीटिंग सेंस इज वंस आई विल राइट द यूनिट डिजिट लेट मी राइट हेयर थ्री नाइन देन सेवन देन वन देन अगेन इट इज कमिंग आउट थ्री नाइन सेवन वन सो इट इज द बंच ऑफ फोर नंबर विच इज कमिंग अगेन एंड अगेन मीन्स रिपीटिव इट इज इन नेचर नाउ पॉइंट इज इफ आई विल एड ऑल Then nine plus three twelve, twelve plus seven nineteen plus one twenty. Unit digit of this addition is zero. Every four number of this sequence or series, it will give addition of unit digit would be zero, zero, zero. So if I will check there, two thousand twelve. This is exact problem of paper, two thousand twelve. Then I can consider this is. Let me write. This will behave two thousand up to two thousand twelve term. It would be the complete bunch, okay? Because two thousand twelve is divisible by four. If you will check, it is five hundred three bunches of these four four bundles, okay? So only one number will be left at last. So that number will begin with three itself. Is that okay? Zero unit digit for first four number zero, another four number zero, next four number zero, up to up to the term which is two thousand twelve position zero again zero two thousand thirteenth position you will have unit digit three because it is starting from three. All right, so your answer will become three. now one more question is there waiting for you that is my amendment see this year is 2023 i have changed this number by 2023 let us talk about this also same way we will analyze so up to 2020 let me dot 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 so up to 2000 Twenty term it it would be three nine seven one. So if you will add, you will get zero. Three nine seven one. You will add, you will get zero. Here also three nine seven one. So up to two zero two zero because it is divisible by four. Okay, five zero. What you will write? Five zero five. but the last bucket you will have three numbers because it is now 2023 so numbers would be at unit place 3 9 7 so at unit place you have to add all these three numbers up to 2020 it is over but because of it is 2023 three numbers are extra numbers and those numbers will be 3 9 and 7 once you will add 3 9 and 7 you will get 19 so unit digit is 9 so unit digit would be 9 okay this is how you will approach first find out the summation first find out the unit digit at one's place so 3 9 7 1 it is repetitive 3 9 7 1 3 9 7 1 now find out how many numbers are extra and simply add those numbers find out unit digit i hope you like this video i will consider more question based on that do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video give like impression if you liked it really thank you bye bye